Hi. Well, what I've got out here today is a Smith & Wesson Model 53. Now, these were chambered for 22 Remington Jet. However, they also had inserts like this that could be fitted into the chamber to fire a 22 long rifle. See that hammer there has a pivoting head on it which allows you to use either a, a center fire firing pin or a rim fire firing pin which are both mounted in the frame. And these inserts hold a 22 long rifle inside of them. And that little cutout there is to allow you to get your fingernail or a knife blade in there and uh, pull the spent empties out. Now when I bought this gun, the inserts had been lost. But I did manage to get a set of uh, inserts for it. Now these are reproduction inserts, so they're not original uh, to the gun. And I'm going to try them out today and see if they work. This is the first time I've ever tried to use these, so I'm not sure that they're going to work properly, but we're going to find out. Well, here's what these inserts look like. I've left three chambers empty for the moment, so you can get a look at how they uh, set in there. Okay, these inserts fit in there pretty tight, so I'm not sure if this is going to try to bind up uh, when I... Uh, when I cycle the action or not. I think that was six, yep. Well, it works anyway. Now we'll see how hard it is to get the spec cases back out of those. Well, like I figured, it's not terribly easy to get those out of there. They do have a cut out there where you can supposed to be able to get your fingernail underneath the brass and the rim and pull them out. And some of them came out pretty easily, and some of them didn't. Well, I didn't actually have to take a rod and uh, push, have to push any of those empty brass out of the inserts, but uh, a couple of them were pretty sticky. But I did manage to get them out without having to use any kind of tool to do it. And there's one that did not go off. And another one. We'll go back through and see if they'll go off the second time. Had one in there that did not go off at all. Well, these reproduction inserts may be just slightly off center. You see right there the hit on the rim of the cartridge? It's, it's hitting the rim, but uh, not as solidly as it's back as far as it should. So I would guess that these things are not exactly centered up like they ought to be. So I'm going to try another cylinder full here and uh, see if they uh, have any more failures. Okay, we'll see how it runs this time. If nothing else, these do give you a, an opportunity to fire this uh, model of gun with 22 long rifle ammunition. 22 Remington Jet is very hard to find and getting very expensive. Even the reloading dies are expensive. There are one bound up just a little bit. Probably one of those uh, cases backed out a little bit. All six uh, 
did fire that time but you can see here on all of these that firing pin is just barely catching the edge of that cartridge so these inserts are not quite perfect but they seem to work at least most of the time anyway well in case anybody was wondering here's what the regular 22 Remington jet cartridge looks like it's essentially a neck down uh, 357 Magnum neck down to 22 caliber and there is one of the inserts that allows you to uh, fire 22 long rifle through it and I've got to say that I'm something less than completely impressed with these uh, reproduction inserts said so they seem to be slightly off-center and they're uh, kind of allow the 22 brass to back back out a little bit and uh, bind up the action once in a while so I, these came from uh, Gun Parts Corporation these reproduction inserts and I would say that if you uh, possibly if you need some of these for one of these guns if you possibly can find some originals I think the I've never heard of that kind of problem with the originals unfortunately somewhere along the line before I bought this gun the original inserts were lost so I had to resort to reproductions but uh, if you can possibly find the original ones uh, the original ones I expect would be a lot better quality well thanks for watching